All right, I just want to make a quick video about doing the slug build. Also, I'm going to be covering Alcazar's dragon dungeon in this episode because the two come hand in hand. It was the build that I used in that dungeon. It was really good. It, honestly, it makes the dungeon quite a breeze. Now, as always, let's get into the build. So, the passives you're going to be running is Slug Secret, Crit Clary, Crit King, and Dragon's Dread. Dragon's Dread is the passive from the dragon, so you're going to need to unlock that. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard unlock, but from my memory, there's going to be one egg location over here. Uh, another egg location is here. That's the second egg. Uh, there's a third egg over here. The fourth egg is here. And I believe the last egg was somewhere around this location. There might be flaws to it. Yeah, those are the, all the egg locations to get your egg to S tier to uh, unlock the dragon. You also need to do uh, Necromancer and Robot into C tier minimum. And that's how you get Dragon Thread. Crit King and Crit Cleric both come from the shop vendor, I believe. They'll be very fairly easy to acquire. And the reason for this is because the slug is really high crit build. You're basically going to be applying status to them, which is your goo, which you can apply naturally by running over them. And you're just going to be critting them really hard. So you're going to basically have, I think, 20. Yeah, 28% increased crit chance on them, and your crit damage is going to be really high. You're going to basically have a 43% chance of crit at them, I believe, altogether, when they have status applied to them. And you're going to be healing a lot with the amount you're going to be critting. And so that's the passives. As for the abilities, you're going to be running Slime Slide, Blob Lob, and I prefer Pump Up, but honestly, you can put this as anything you may need for ward breaking. So the way you can play this build is... Rather than relying on auto attacks, you're just going to slide into them a lot and you're going to blob blob on cooldown. You're only going to really use your tier burst when you need to acquire mana and you can use pump up every now and then to increase your damage if you have the spare mana. But you know, if you don't, you can maybe like run dodge or maybe even gallop. Probably dodge. Up to you, honestly, depending on what you need for the dungeon. I use this in Dragon Rules Alcazar this exact same build and since you when you break wards you gain full mana so you're just going to be charging at them to regain all that mana anyway so that's the build and then i'll go show you guys some clips now from both the dungeon and this build in that dungeon Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that build. It's, it's really fun with seeing all the crit numbers and I hope to help with the dungeon too if you're struggling on it. I'll see you guys in the next video.